this is our first full day in Oslo. We arrived late last night, but really didn't have much time after getting lost to do anything other than go to bed. So the first thing we did this morning was we walked down to the Talia uh, store, not too far from the central train station, and picked up a Talia SIM card. The, the little SIM card we can put in our phone and then we'll have access and data in Norway. So that was going to be really important for our Google Maps and everything. The next thing we took care of was getting our Oslo Pass. Now, we got an Oslo Pass for each one of us and it's good for 72 hours and you date it yourself upon the first use which for us the first use was on the metro and then you're able to scan it where you need to to get tickets or whatever else when you get on a bus you just show them this card now the Oslo City Pass is good for entry into 30 different museums free public transport free entry into swimming pools which right now that's ridiculous because it started to snow while we were picking up <laughs> our Oslo Pass so I don't think we're going to be going to swimming pools. It also has discounts on sightseeing and special offers at restaurants, shops, and leisure venues. Since we got the 72 hour ones it was 820 knock a person. It, you know it's pretty pricey but when you figure out how much all of the museums cost it kind of works itself out. It does mean that we're going to have to pack a lot in because most of the museums during the winter are only open between 10 in the morning and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Some of them are open to 5, some of them don't open until 11. We're going to do a lot of planning to try to figure out where we can go and when. Before we ever left the Airbnb, I pulled out the map of the different museums that are included in our pass kind of wrote some of the times that they were open and closed and marked off some of the ones that I'm more interested in seeing. Hopefully this will help us achieve seeing, seeing as much as we possibly can in the short amount of time we're here in Oslo. Our first stop is the Reptile Museum. Uh, I was very excited about this because you know how much I love animals. And they say that you can see 60 different species here, including frogs, turtles, snakes, lizards, insects, and spiders, as well as different types of fish, snails, different decomposers. And most popular, and probably my favorite, were the marmosets. Uh, then they have a caiman and stick insects. There's poison dart frogs, a huge Burmese python. Uh, just some really really cool animals and we enjoy just kind of wandering around it seems like it's really popular with children and their parents so we were surrounded by kids the whole time we were there but I think we really enjoyed it it's probably my favorite of the day 